Another clue from the exclusive video. In it, you can see the passport of a young woman from Yemen. It is bin Laden's much younger fourth wife. And Brian Ross is here tonight on what we have learned about the woman at bin Laden's side when those Navy SEALs struck. Bin Laden's family occupied the second and third floor of his sprawling hideout in Pakistan, where one of his sons was killed and his wife injured in Sunday's raid. His wife was the youngest of his five wives, 29-year-old Amal Ahmed Abdul Fattah, identified by U.S. authorities as the woman pictured in this Yemeni passport that a Pakistani TV station said was found in the compound after the raid. Amal Ahmed was in the bedroom with bin Laden when the Navy SEALs closed in. Bin Laden's wife rushed the U.S. assaulter and was shot in the leg but not killed. Bin Laden married Amal Ahmed at the age of 15. She was a gift to him from a Yemeni family. She was a very young woman by the account of the bodyguard who uh, brought her to meet bin Laden from the tribal family that had presented her to bin Laden for marriage. Over the years, bin Laden had at least 11 children with his wives. He married very young, first a cousin from Syria, then a couple of very well-educated women from Saudi Arabia. There are no known photographs of the other wives, and his former sister-in-law, Carmen Bin Laden, told Diane Sawyer that Bin Laden did not like women to talk to him. My brother-in-law was standing at the stairs of the plane. He came and I say, hi, and you know, and he looked at me and he said, don't talk. By the time Bin Laden moved to his mansion in Abbottabad, he was left only with Amal Ahmed. He had divorced one of his wives to marry her, and three others had moved to Syria. The injury to her leg is not considered serious, and U.S. officials say she is now in Pakistani custody.